it requires your body. Stay the fuck away from my mother. Alice, who just got widowed, visits her lawyer daughter Suzanne. She's being greeted by True and instantly they clicked as if they have known each other for a long time. Oh, I'm True. Uh, Suzanne's friend. Oh, yes, of course. Suzanne's mentioned you. True is an out lesbian who has a hard time keeping relationships and is most of the time cannot commit to women she's been with. I had a great time though, Jenny. Jenny? Alice seems to be smitten by True's outgoing and cheerful personality and she is aware that True is a lesbian. You're the lesbian. <laughs> As they converse, Suzanne finally came and Alice is so happy to see her daughter again after her father's death. What or whom are you prepping? They should be having dinner, but with Suzanne's work, she hardly cannot give time to be with her mom. And so True was the one filling in those lost time Suzanne should be giving her mother. There has been an injunction. I have to... Uh... Make partner, yes, I know you are so like your father. Suzanne, however, feeling a bit uneasy with True around, especially now that her mother Alice will be staying with her for a few weeks. This is because Suzanne had a one-night make-out with True when they were so drunk, but Alice has no knowledge about it. And so Alice and True spent the night drinking at a bar with that Suzanne as they meet True's friend who is gay. Alice becomes personal with True, asking her when did she realize she is actually a lesbian. You always know that you are a lesbian. As they continue to know each other more, they both started to feel the attraction. As True meets Suzanne, she tells True that her mom is actually a mess, which True disagrees. Underneath, she's a bit of a mess. Well, you know, since my dad died, it's been rough. Alice is so engrossed with True that she wants to see her again the next day. She asks Suzanne if it's okay and she agrees since she still can't give time to be with her mom because of her work. I've been invited to go for a walk with her tomorrow. Do you mind? True's girlfriend comes to visit her and is so upset since she should be meeting her and not Alice. I had to go out with Suzanne's mother. You were supposed to meet with me! True and Alice spend time just sitting and enjoying the snow, and Alice insists that she wants to know more of True's life. Tell me something, anything. I don't know much about you, really. Suzanne warns her mother about True. This is because she is still confused on what she felt after making out with True and that Alice might fall for her. You know she's a lesbian. Yes. A young lesbian. Yes. And you are neither. True begins to feel something towards Alice and that she can't wait to see her again. Suzanne thanks True for babysitting her mother, but feels uncomfortable seeing them both together. True shows Alice her house, then she starts to open up with Alice about her life when she was still young. I got caught with a girl. That they do. They locked me in my room for weeks. After that emotional conversation, True cooks for Alice, then walks along the beach, then eats dinner together forgetting it's almost midnight. Suzanne is upset with them as she was waiting for her mother for dinner. She hates the fact that Alice is now spending more time with True. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were attracted to her. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're jealous. Suzanne gets in the way between Alice and True. She tells True that her mother is sick and cannot see her and needs to rest. My mother is sick. I have to go. I'm leaving. Just tell her that I came because she's expecting me. As Suzanne went to work, Alice waits for True but she never came. She feels so upset not seeing True for a day. True went to see Alice again but Suzanne still tells her she can't see her mom. But True insists if she can see Alice, since she made a soup for her so she'll get well. This time around, Suzanne is so annoyed and even blurted bad words on True. Alice is so upset not seeing True for two days 
as she went to their favorite place, hoping she can see her. Suzanne makes time for Aldous, and they had dinner together. True went to see her friend, and he tells her to just move on, and maybe she can spend the night with another girl. Love the house, trying to play with us. That's exactly what we need. That's when True sees a bartender who seems to be attracted to her. Alice went to True's house but felt so hurt when she sees her with another woman. But True insists that it's nothing and that she wants to talk to Alice. And they finally realize that it was Zen who prevents them not to see each other. I did come. I, I went to see you. Suzanne told me you were sick. True can no longer hold the truth from Alice, and she finally reveals that she did slept with her daughter and that Suzanne is actually confused with her identity. Suzanne and you? We both had too much to drink. We woke up in bed together. The three of them had dinner and Alice asked Suzanne if there's something she wants to tell her. She tells Suzanne she knows the truth slept with her and now she understands why her daughter acts that way whenever True is around. We slept together. Something transpired. I have no idea what you have. Suzanne went to see True and was angry and told her to stop seeing her mother. And why did she tell her mom about them? Well, you made it her business by lying to her. It's my privacy, my decision. Alice reveals to Suzanne that she does like True and that she wants to be romantically involved with her. And sh this really made Suzanne so upset. I'm stuck on seeing her. I like her. I like spending time with her and that should be enough. Oh, yeah, I know you do more than you like spending time with me. Eventually, Alice and Suzanne was able to talk things over and even invited True to come and see Alice before she goes back home. True went to see her ex-girlfriend and admits that she was wrong as she gives back the key to the house she's staying. Suzanne tells True that she does like her but she is confused if she is lesbian or not. She is just concerned for her mother now that both True and Alice feels the same way. I don't know what I am. I think that's why I um, freaked out on you. I was just feeling... Alice can't seem to control her emotions anymore and kisses True and they made love as Suzanne comes home and saw them inside Alice's room. Alice tells Suzanne that she hopes she can finally find someone who will truly love her before leaving. True keeps calling Alice over the phone but never got a call back from her when finally Suzanne answers her call. Suzanne was crying as she tells True that Alice is dead and that she had aneurysm on her way home. True is so heartbroken. She went to the funeral and hugs Suzanne. She sits on their favorite place watching the snow when someone gave True a cup of coffee. And it's her ex-girlfriend and they both patch up things and got back together as True realized she has to move on with her life. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.